Hi guys, my name is Rockish Shoe. Uh, just got up, figured I might do a video, and I found this article. It's 9th January right now. I'm filming this. The most anticipated PC games of 2022. And I just want to go through the list, see exactly what PC Gamer has to say. And yeah, sure enough, we see at the top of the list Elden Ring. Not much to say about this one. Uh, does these, these are these? Uh, whatever, they're from YouTube. Queen. This is the the trailer, but we've seen like we've seen a bunch of stuff on on this already. Uh, yeah. One thing is for sure, and it has been confirmed over and over again. We will have invasions, but what I've learned is that. Um, they're gonna limit the number of players that are gonna be invading you so just so we can have a better chance so i understand that there's like four players per um i don't know per location so if you're in a party of three players you will be invaded by one more player if you are a party of two players you can be invaded of maximum of two other players so i guess that's cool if you're a solo player, then that means you can get invaded by, I guess, three more players, which sucks. But it's Dark Souls. Nothing we can do about it. Yeah, February 25th, delay from January. Yeah, it was supposed to come out in January. It doesn't matter when it comes out. I will be getting this, no way around that situation, and hopefully we'll make the best of it. We'll see how that... Starfield, this is interesting. I've been looking at this list. And oh. November 11th this year. It's coming out from Bethesda. We don't need the sound because we've probably seen these trailers before. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be like Star Citizen or similar to Star Citizen. I really like Star Citizen, and if this is going to be something like that, that's going to be pretty cool. I don't know if we're going to get... I think this is just cutscenes, not actually in-game. Excited about this, but it does feel like it's going to be demanding. I don't know, by the graphics, it feels like it's, it's going to bring a lot to the table when it comes to your graphics card. Mm, we'll see. Hollow Knight Silk Song. Um, man, this, 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 this is going to be hard. I tried to play Hollow Knight, uh, the first one. It was very difficult because I'm not good at platforming and stuff like that. It's probably coming out in 2022. We'll see. Excited about this one, but I don't know if it's going to have any co-op. I know the first one did had, didn't did have any co-op. And yeah, we'll see. For those of you who love this type of genre, I don't really, I mean, I like it, but because it's so hard. I mean, look at those combos. You can see those combos. You have to move really fast on a controller, and I don't think I'm fast enough. Uh, Company of Heroes 3. Oh, man, I am generally excited about this one. Like, generally, generally excited about this one. Uh, I play Company of Heroes 2 the most. I finished the campaign, and I had it original. I played a lot of a multiplayer. I got good at it. I was really, really into the whole competitive area of, of the game, and I loved it. Company of Heroes 2 was delicious. I don't know what they're going to bring to the table with Company of Heroes 3. And again, they say it's coming out 2022, but I don't think this was 100% confirmed. And yeah, we'll, we'll see. But do we get any gameplay? No, these are just cutscenes. No gameplay. I wish I could see some gameplay excited about this one we don't know when it's coming out let's kind of oh this is absolutely a delight um yeah early 2022 even though on steam it says that this is coming out in april 2022 i don't know why they didn't add april in this uh, early 2022 it's not early early would be january or february April is not that early, but this has four-player co-op. I don't know if it says here. No, they didn't mention anything about this. And it's set as a shooter. It's in the Warhammer universe. 
it has classes. It's kind of like Left 4 Dead, except Left 4 Dead didn't have classes. But I'm... So, oh, look at this. This is gameplay. I'm gonna love this. I am gonna absolutely love this. Because for me, Back 4 Blood didn't really do it. And hopefully this is gonna be something better than that. I am so super excited about this when it comes out. Of course, we already saw... Yeah. Pause, please. Th this, this is... As far as I'm concerned, this is probably, for me, is gonna, probably going to be at that level of Dragon Age. Like, I'll talk about it later, but I'm going to be so excited about this. I didn't play the early access version, mainly because I want to experience the whole package. Uh, right now, you can get the early access, which is Chapter 1, I believe. But it still adds 50 hours just in Chapter 1, if not more. Um... Let me let me just check real quick. Uh, Baller Gate. Uh, da, 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 how long to beat? Oh, so chapter one main twenty seven minutes. Um, and main plus extra uh, hours twenty seven hours and forty two hours. So yeah, that's on Google Stadia. The same results almost on PC. Um, it's a lot to play and just for the first chapter can you imagine this video game but early access launch october 2019 hopefully a full event yeah they didn't ne they never confirmed that they're going to re release this in 2022 so i hope that they will but we'll see i i don't know but this is going to be huge when this drops this is going to be absolutely absolutely huge uh kerbal or Kerbal Space Program 2. I don't know anything about this game. Nothing. I guess it's like a space sim or something like that. Okay. I guess it's not a space sim. I don't know anything about this game. This is something 100% new to me. Delay from 2020 and it's coming out 2022. This looks something more like for PlayStation than... But... You know, if it's on PC Gamer, I guess it's going to be for, for PC. I don't know what to expect from this. Do we get some gameplay or something? No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this looks futuristic. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, Redfall. Okay, another Left 4 Dead. Is it? Kind of Left 4 Dead. Do we get some gameplay? Shift for immersive da la 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 co-op FPS image vampires have cut off the town of Redfall from the rest of the civilization feasting and its inhabitants. Only a group of four oh, so instead of zombies you get to kill vampires, I guess. Uh is that is that Bet Bethesda? Yeah. Again, another video game for Bethesda. Um excited. So I think again we're gonna see classes. That guy looks like a rogue sniper, the other guy looked like a tank, maybe. Yeah, these are all classes. I see different, like the mechanic. She gets to use her summons and stuff like that. Yeah. Classes, killing vampires, co-op FPS. <laughs> oh, I need more of this. Looks like Bethesda is on fire in 2022. Summer 2022. Ooh, baby. August, maybe? We'll see. This, this looks like fire. Absolutely. Bite back. Okay. All right. Uh, Death Trash. Don't know anything about this video game. I've never heard of this. Early access launch August 2021. Predicted to leave. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'm a sucker for great graphics and I absolutely love amazing graphics and these type of video games never do anything for me. I hate this commercial and stuff. Uh, this looks a bit dystopia maybe? No, you get dialogue, maybe some choices. 
I've seen this type of, of fighting, I guess, mechanics in video games before I played some of it. If you remember uh, Alien Survival, whatever that game was, it also had co-op. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, this one, this one, this one is also fire. So this is supposed to be for PlayStation 5, but I guess it's coming out for PC as well. Ghostwire Tokyo. 2022 I, I'm not sure this is coming out in 2022 I heard rumors that it might be actually delayed um, mainly because the PlayStation 5 wasn't good enough to run this game at least that's what I read in 2023 we should be expecting at least again rumors um, PlayStation 5 Pro and some games might be delayed up until 2023 to take advantage of PlayStation 5 Pro but these are all speculations rumors nothing true so this gives me no vibes I don't know what to expect from this I, I feel like this is not something I've ever played before <laughs> but it sure looks I mean it looks weird it looks Ghostwire, maybe like Tokyo Ghoul, the anime. Not sure, but it feels again demanding, pretty good. Cool. Maybe like a sandbox thingy happening. You get powers. I'm sure you're gonna get some skills, upgrades, different classes. I don't think so. It's probably gonna be single player all the way with one single class, but with upgrades. This looks promising for sure. And it's PlayStation 5 level of graphics, so you know it's gonna look very good. Okay, what's next? Wizard. Oh, oh. Baby, baby, baby. When they like I heard about this game from Game Ranks first. And it has co-op, it has a top-down um camera, but still very, very awesome things. And I believe it's also gonna have like pvp survival twit can we get some gameplay no no game oh this is gameplay this is gameplay footage i'm gonna love this i'm gonna absolutely love this this looks so so good i mean it gives me like it looks like a cartoon but a very well made one oh yeah and the co-op survival sandbox sounds intriguing too i told you it has co-op and I know something about PvP as well. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, Wizards with gun. Oh, yes, baby. When is this coming out? Did it say when it's coming out? Mm, 2022. Uh, in Switch and PC. Doesn't say. Card Shark. <laughs> What is this? 18th century France. Early 2022 delay from 2022 from the studio behind Reigns and Orwell's Animal Farm comes out about cheating at cards in 18th century France. I don't know nothing about this video game. A tale of daring. This looks so cool though. This looks so so good. But what's the gameplay? Like what do you do? Like you get to duel? What's the gameplay like? Is this... I'm looking at gameplay right now? <laughs> what do you do in this game? Get caught and it may be pistol at dawn or pistol immediately in the face. <laughs> oh, this looks so good. Okay, okay, I'll take it. Lost art, no. Like... I'm not even going to click on that. I have a problems with MMORPGs and I've seen a lot of Lost Ark to know that I'm not interesting. And this has farming all over it because this looks like a single player experience. This looks like multiplayer, but I don't think it has any farming engaged. This doesn't definitely have any farming. It's just a single player experience and it's just you know something that you can enjoy once finish it in 20 hours 30 hours whichever and then this 
If you put in 1000 hours, you're probably still not going to be good at it because this is what these, I don't know, toxic MMORPGs have and I just forget about it. Slime Rancher 2? I don't know anything about this coming out in 2022, doesn't say date. The new settings of Rainbow Island will include more kinds of slime to farm. Oh, so this is the second part. I don't know anything about the first part. Is this multiplayer or single player? Single player? Doesn't say anything about multiplayer. What do you do in this game? <laughs> you, f you farm slime? What is... <laughs> This looks so good. It's so colorful and joyful and... Mm, I don't think this has multiplayer. Just maybe single player only. <laughs> what? <laughs> that looks so good. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I like this. This is gonna be so cool. I like it. Slime Rancher 2. I'm going to have to keep an eye on this one. Is it coming for Steam? Epic? A Wiggly New Adventure begins. A Steam. Oh, it says Steam. Xbox Series X and S. Steam. Okay. Thumbs up. I like it. This is... I had no idea about this one. Total War Free. Um, no. Uh, Total War Warhammer Free. I played the first one. It was difficult. I felt like it was more difficult than the other... Total War video games. The second one didn't really feel like a second one. It feel like... Because the first one had so many DLCs. And the second one didn't really feel like a, a different video game. It felt like more of the same. On top of which you had more DLCs also. So I played the first one. I played the second one. The second one I believe I didn't even finish. I didn't even get the DLCs, they were too expensive. And I, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, this is the third one. February 17, oh, it's coming out almost, almost at the same time with uh, Elder Ring. This looks like an Asian scenery. I don't know, because I was so excited about the Warhammer 2 after I played the first one and it disappointed a little bit. And what are we looking at? Is this gameplay? No, I think it's a cutscene. Can we get some gameplay? I'm, I'm afraid to, to kind of get my hopes up about this one because again, the second one kind of disappointed me. We'll see what has, you know, usually they're very demanding from a graphical point of view. So you need a very beefy graphics card to play this, at least at ultra settings. I remember Warhammer 2, I had very bad frames. I try to, you know, the more you up up the resolution, the more it's just very demanding. When you have like so many units on screen, it, it kills you. Also takes a lot of RAM, very demanding video games. Hmm, yeah, they're focusing on Warhammer 3 and unfortunately I love the original Total Wars, the one that are captivated from history, not from fantasy. But yeah, we'll see. I'm a bit on the fence when it comes to Warhammer 3 because I didn't really... I had a pretty bad experience with the second one. Well, not bad, but boring. Sifu, February 8th, delayed from 2022, uh, 21. Um, from the designers of Absolver, and Absolver was all about PvP. Absolver is very hard. I found it to be a very hard video game, and 100% PvP for people that have quick reflexes. And this feels like a bit like Absolver, but in a different scenery. I wonder if you have co-op. Uh, doesn't say anything about co-op. Yeah, I can see a lot of button mashing on a controller. I don't think this will be played very well on PC and mouse. I'm a PC and I'm a keyboard and mouse type of guy. And as you can see from this, I think it requires a controller. I mean, you, you will probably have to button mash very fast. Not excited about this one. I don't know. Not my cup of tea. 
it looks cool but you know they look cool in trailers i don't know what this is gonna do to me when i'm i'll probably wait to get a discount on this one we'll see we'll see Gotham Knights, yeah, I'm not excited about this one. <laughs> oh my god, if my friend sees this video, he is absolutely in love with everything that has to come from Marvel and DC Comics and Batman and stuff like that. This is a universe where Batman has died and basically you're playing with everyone that's left from the Batman crew like Robin and, and so on. You get like a sandbox, not exactly open world, but more of a sandbox situation when you get to travel to certain small areas around the map and then you get to do a bunch of quests there. At first the graphic look, you know, the graphics looks very, very good, but I've seen some gameplay and uh, what I didn't like is that some areas had the bad guys had level so, for example, if you're level 5 and your enemies in that area are level 25, you'll, you probably won't be able to take on that area. Which is something that Dark Souls in general and Elder Ring doesn't have. So, it doesn't matter what level you are, it lets you explore and it lets you get you in situations where you, you kind of don't feel like you are under level because it's all about skill. With video games like this, I feel like the skill goes down and everything that matters is basically farming and leveling up. Because it doesn't matter how skillful you are, if you're level 5 and if you want to take on bad guys that are level 20, you're not going to be able to do it because you're, you, know, you don't have enough power in your character. So, it's something that I don't particularly like. And it takes away from the open world type of feeling. I don't know if you can see in this in this video. Oh, you see? He's level 14 or 15 or something like that. Yeah, so this bothers me. The fact that they have levels, it bothers me. And it only forces the players to farm. Keep farming, keep farming, keep repeating, uh, repeating the, the missions. And just so you can get higher level and so on and so on. Yeah, you're going to have to farm for level, you're going to have to farm for gear. I don't, I don't feel excited about this. The graphics looks very good, but... Yeah, from the makers of Arkham Origin and stuff like that. We'll see if this is going to be good or not. It definitely has co-op, a lot of it. I will be getting it, of course, because I have to play with my friend. <laughs> but, um... I don't know, man. I'm just... I hope they change the system. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't like the level system. It is what it is. Anything else on the list? Suicide Squad. Okay, another video game that I need to purchase to play with my friend. <laughs> um, I don't know what to expect from this one. Who's making this video game? Does it say? Rocksteady's follow-up of Arkham Games. Okay, 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 okay. Well, Rocksteady games are usually good games. Can we get some gameplay? Is this gameplay? Oh, this is gameplay. This is gameplay. Okay. At first, this was supposed to be, I believe, PvP only. And they introduced this thing. They kind of remade the whole video game. So now it's more co-op than anything, right? I think. Not sure. The ton seems much more common. Beat them up. That you can play co-op or in single player with the other characters by yourself. So again, co-op, just like the first one, Gotham Knights. It looks fun, and I think that I'm gonna have more fun with this one than than Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights likes to take itself serious even though it's not this one doesn't take itself serious and i feel like for you know fun purposes this is way better again co-op awesome okay this this feels promising but it doesn't say when it's coming out 2022 hopefully it's not gonna get delayed 
Okay, so PC, nothing about Steam. PC is probably going to be... PlayStation 5 is probably going to be released on Epic. We'll see. Oxenfree 2 Lost Signals. I don't know anything about this. Less than a minute. Another spooky island haunted by spooky radio signals is a setting for... and switch and it said 2021 i guess it's not 2021 it's 2022 they didn't change the trailer or anything like that uh metro deviant it feels like that yeah yeah me okay saints row what do we know about this video game do we know anything about this video game <laughs> Is this like a remake? Is this a remake? Okay, does it say anything about co-op? Saints Row Reborn la, 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 la. Reboot promises, yeah, it's it's a reboot. Okay. Is reboot the same as remake? Building criminal empire from the ground up in the city of Santa Olaya. Yeah, I don't like this. Pause it. Dying Light 2. Uh, I don't like this either. Um, yeah, so, so excited about it when it got announced. And it got announced back in 2021, I believe. Um, and, I don't know. Back then when it got announced, it was because it had the, you know, it had co-op and stuff like that but i didn't really like the first one the weapons were um you know they had like a limit up until they broke and you constantly had to fix them or you constantly had to get new weapons and stuff like that and i don't like that system this continues on that path of course the trailer looks amazing we're supposed to be so excited but we've already seen i've seen gameplay and the gameplay feels more of Dying Light 1 instead of something brand new or something reinvented. I don't feel like this is reinvented. It's just more of what Dying Light was. So if you like Dying Light 1, this is for you. This might not be for me. I do know that it has co-op, but we'll see about it. It's a shooter with zombies and co-op. Theoretically, I'm supposed to absolutely fall in love with it. Because this is right up my alley. But Dying Light wasn't. For me, it was a bit tedious. It wasn't something that I really liked. So, we'll see. February 4th. Okay, okay. I'm not buying it because I am already have to, you know, get my hard-earned money on um, God of War. And, of course, Elder Ring. So, yeah, no. Stalker 2. This, this, this should be something very, very, very promising. The first Stalker, um, Shadow of Pripyat. I, I believe it was Shadow of Pripyat. When did it came out? Let me just check it out real quick. Uh, Stalker. Shadow... Two thousand and seven, but it was something about Pripyat as well. Stalker Pripyat. Man, I don't remember. Jesus Christ. Pripyat, or maybe that was the DLC. 
Pripyat, Stalker, Call of Pripyat. Was this like a DLC 2009? I think it might have been like a DLC. Uh, or a standalone, uh, yeah. But I want to play this, like 100%. This is on way up there, like something I really, really want to play. I know it's a shooter, but it feels more of a um, survival shooter than a, you know, one of those gunning and running, like less Call of Duty-ish and more, what's the name of that game? Oh man, the Battle Royale, I forgot about it, made by the Russians. <sighs> what? <laughs> what was that? What was that? That's so cool. This, I mean, the graphics really, really look good. Man, I want to play this so bad. You can upgrade weapons and stuff like that. April 28th. Ooh, it's coming out in April. This really, really feels, I don't know, it feels well made. It has a story, anything. It's probably going to be 100% single player. It doesn't bother me. Of course, anything that has co-op is... But if it doesn't have co-op, that's still fine. Yeah. Looks very nice. Looks absolutely very nice. And something that... Are we done with the list? Yeah, the list is over. Something that I haven't seen on this list is Dragon Age 4. Dragon Age 4 release date. Two thousand and twenty three won't be coming. Dragon Age Four won't be coming April two thousand and twenty two at the earliest. I was hoping for Dragon Age Four, man, two thousand and twenty three. Well, looking at the, the bright side of things, um, at least we'll have time to buy a brand new graphics card, maybe. Hopefully, if there will be available, because I feel like Dragon Age 4 is going to hit performance really, really hard. So we might need a new graphics card or a brand new computer altogether. Um, but yeah, Ugh, it's not coming out this year. And in 2023, I believe uh, Mass Effect 4 is coming out as well, right? It wouldn't make any sense. Uh, Mass Effect 4. It wouldn't make any sense for them to release it in the same... Oh, or 2024. Yeah, 2024 makes more sense because both of these IPs are coming from the same company. Which is EA with combination of Bioware. So to have two major video games coming out in the same year doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, I think that it's going to be 2024. But that's it. These are a couple of video games that are coming out for PC in uh, this year. I'm excited. I think it's going to be a good game for a good year for, for PC gaming. Um, PC game said this year was one of the worst year for PC gaming ever. There we have it. Why 2021 was the worst year for PC gaming. I read the article and you can read it as well. It's on PC. Get lost. Um, but I don't... I mean, I feel like it was one of the worst years or maybe one of the... I remember 2000 and what? 2015, 2000... Well, 16 was pretty good, but... Like, we had bad years for PC gamings before, and this wasn't the worst one. What makes it so bad, and what will make it bad in the future, is, you know, the fact we're not going to be able to upgrade our PCs so easily without spending a ton of money, because 
of chip shortage and I don't see that ever happening in the future like improvements I don't think this year is going to be good I don't think next year is going to be good we're still looking at chip shortages and it's getting worse or it's not getting better so yeah but other than that it is what it is I felt like 2021 was pretty good for PC gaming I really did and considering the fact that more and more developers when they're releasing they're not just releasing for one platform they're doing it for a lot of platforms like you know back early 2000s if you remember games were coming out for playstation for example and they were not coming out for pc it was impossible now they're making it them for playstation and xbox and if it's xbox it's a crossover so it's going to be pc as well so the the future when it comes to gaming i think it it looks bright because we are no longer forced that much to stick with a single platform and you can play it on whichever you have so it's your choice that's a very good thing so i think the future is bright we'll see when it comes to to pc parts you know cpus even ram graphics cards of course oh my god graphics cards are a pain but yeah i don't think i'm going to be changing my graphics card this year i have an amd 5700 xt and so far on my 2k monitor i've been holding pretty good frames forza 5 was able to be played i i played it in 4k i'm still playing it in 4k it runs amazing We'll see God of War. I think Elder Ring is going to be pretty decent on my hardware as well. So I don't think I need an upgrade for that. Yeah, maybe next year we'll get a brand new graphics card. Who knows? Up until then and up until we see each other again, I will be doing a lot of videos for God of War. I'm so excited for God of War. I never played it. I don't own a, a PlayStation and uh, I never played it. I've been staying away from spoilers as much as possible, so uh, God of War. In a couple of days it's coming out, but I have exams at university, so I'm not going to be able to, um, to play that right away, but in February, I'm jumping on it. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys, for watching. I hope we're going to have a great year for PC gaming, or gaming in general. Have a lovely day, or whichever.